That's a wow. I maybe I, okay. This probably bears some explanation. We recently ordered in a guest star. He is the smartest intellect in the universe. And unfortunately, his mind is so great, he could not fit into one body. And so we split him into those guys. It explains everything. We thought it might be fun to give you a chance to meet them or him. And all I have to do to get this started is activate the hive mind. <laughs> Professor, are you with us? The Professor is online, 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 online. Hang on, I'll fix it. <laughs> That'll work. Now, the Professor, of course, is the most knowledgeable being in the universe. So please, ask me questions, I will moderate, and we will get you the answers to your greatest questions. I want that one again. Professor, what is the recipe for Dr. Pepper? The recipe for Dr. Pepper involves magic, marmosets, and several of sesquipedalian <laughs> thermometers <laughs> derived from several tons of uranium. <laughs> the professor! Who has a question for the professor? How do you train a cat? How do you train a cat? The correct way to train cats involves inconsequential <laughs> yet I'll get him <laughs> multiple forms of torture <laughs> sounds fairly accurate to me do we have one more question for the professor what Professor, why can't penguins fly? The ability of penguins not flying <laughs> results in several optical illusions <laughs> of not quantum theoretical scatological flying <laughs> physics. <laughs> I believe the professor has batteries left for one more really good question, folks. With cell phones so ubiquitous, why have UFOs not been proven? Why haven't we found any UFOs in this great day of modern technology? UFOs. Hang on a second. I think we got them. Go for it. Saucers are... Reason to find several extraterrestrial planets with unintelligent forms of penguins <laughs> that necessarily like to read textbooks <laughs> with pants and copious marmosets. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the professor has spoken!